Hey everybody, I am back with another grocery haul. It's been a while. My husband was injured. I hurt my wrist. I was just shopping, you know, two days at a time. But today I had a huge grocery haul, so I figured I would share it with you guys. I will be popping up the prices so you can see how much everything cost. Oh my goodness, groceries, man, are getting very expensive. But this is a two-week haul from Aldi, and it was $175, I believe. Um, two weeks of dinners for sure. I might need to go back for some breakfast items, but I really want to try to use what we have on hand. So let me go through everything. I will pop up the prices on the screen so you can see how much each item is. These are some really affordable snacks that Aldi has, the mini muffins. It comes with five pouches. It's just super easy to throw into their lunch or for them to just grab on their own or to take on the go. Soccer is starting soon. We also got the chocolate chip flavor and we picked up the mini brownies. They also have a blueberry muffin flavor. Then we got these um, Millville Toaster Tarts. They are the Aldi version of Pop-Tarts and much cheaper and very comparable. My daughter Savannah was with me and she picked out these because they're the s'mores flavor and this is not a flavor that the Aldi brand offers, but it is like double the price of the Aldi version. So if you find a flavor you like in the Aldi version, I recommend that. And then we also got these um, which are the Aldi version of Nutri-Grain Bars. Very good. And it comes with eight. Valentine's Day is on Monday, so the kids picked out these cookies. Super cute. They also had Valentine cupcakes and lots of chocolates. They picked out these Twinkies, and they already got into them in the car. So this is definitely not the healthy part of the haul, but it's life, and the kids get snacks and treats, and it's okay. <laughs> then they picked out these White Cheddar Puffs, which are the Aldi version of Pirate Booty. We got two bags because these bags are not very big. My kids will eat this whole bag like together at the park. But yeah, four ounces. And then I got these um, potato chips. These are Aldi brand. Again, everything I'm showing you that Aldi brand, that is Aldi brand, is items that we've tried and that we've loved. So I won't show you something that's not good. These are just like ruffles. They might be a little more salty, but we're gonna use these with some dip for football tomorrow. So that is for that. Now going on to some more um, healthy items. For some breakfast, we like um, fruit. So we got, we got two packs of blueberries. We love them when they're like really big like that. And Aldi's just has the best price for berries. So we got two blueberries and we got two strawberries. They smell so good. We'll probably eat one of these right after I film this, and we'll eat the other one tomorrow. They just don't stand a chance. We have eggs already, so I just needed one more dozen, so we got that. Then we picked up some Granny Smith apples, which is three pounds. And then we picked up two bags of Honeycrisp apples. They are two pounds per bag, our favorite apples. And the kids eat at least one apple a day, so we'll probably need more apples within the next two weeks. And then we got some 100% apple juice. Now for some lunch items, my husband and I like doing just something simple, cheese and crackers. So we got these wheat thins, well, thin wheat crackers, the Aldi version, obviously, of wheat thins, super good. And then we also got the sea salt pita crackers which are more plain um, if you want to really taste what's on the cracker. We picked up some mini cucumbers just to dip in hummus or ranch or just to eat by itself for lunch as a little side. Two bags of croutons for Caesar salad. Caesar salad is just something we always have on hand. The Aldi Caesar dressing is really good. I got two of those. Then we got some string cheese. Happy Farms is the Aldi brand. Very good. This has 12 in it. So I got two. This is just something the kids can grab easily for a snack. I'll have them get muffins and a cheese stick, and then they're good. Then, of course, we needed some romaine lettuce to go for our Caesar salad. My daughter likes just this sliced up with butter on it, so I got a French baguette for her. We don't even bake it. We literally just slice it up and put butter on it and she loves it. 
I got some tomatoes. If you follow my Instagram, I'm going to be posting more on there. I'm like trying to get more into the swing of um, planning my meals and posting them. But I'm obsessed with tomatoes on top of cottage cheese with garlic, salt, and pepper. So, so good. You should try it. Let me know. It's like a affordable caprese. It's so good. <laughs> you will like it. Give it a try. These tomatoes look amazing. So I'm excited for that. Then I picked up this turkey. I've never tried this one. This is an Aldi brand. They have a deli sliced turkey, but the past two times I have purchased it, um, it is like slimy and it's so gross. I don't even want to risk it. It's not out of date. It's just always slimy. It's not in a package like this. It's in like a clear package with the actual deli paper in there. Like it's sliced from a real turkey breast. Um, and it's just been slimy every time we've got it. So I'm trying this, hoping it's better. Then we got some salami. The salami is very good. And for some cheeses, we got this blueberry vanilla goat cheese. We are trying this out. This is new to us. It's the Hold the Dough Pizza Fontina. My husband picked that one out. And then I picked this one out. Rosé infused Fontina. Sounded really good. We like cheese and crackers um, in the afternoon for lunch. Very light and delicious. Now going on to dinners. These are all the dinner items. You'll think, why are there no vegetables? That's because I did a Walmart grocery haul last week and we stocked up our freezer with frozen veggies. So we are good on that. Um, I did get this sirloin tip roast. My daughters love steak and steak is so expensive. This was a better deal. It was $5.99 a pound. So this was $21.68. This should be two dinners easily. I want to slice it into steaks. So I've never cooked sirloin tip steak before, but they had it there. So I Googled it real quick and it said that you can cut the roast into steaks. So I'm going to try that. And it saved us some money because the sirloin tip steaks were more expensive. Hopefully that works out. This is a very affordable meat option if you like carnitas. This is already marinated. It's not spicy. So if you don't want anything spicy, you can handle this or you can add extra spice. I just throw it into the crock pot. It's like $1.99 a pound. So this piece of meat was only $5. It's two and a half pounds. So good, we've bought it before. It's great on tacos or nachos or with eggs in the morning or on a salad. There's just like endless ways with some rice on the side. So good, easy, affordable meat option if you're looking for something super easy. Just throw it in your crock pot and you're good. So that is a saver for us when we don't know what to make for dinner. Then I got some salmon. This was $8.49 a pound. Not the best price, but again, we love salmon. I got jasmine rice to go with that because jasmine rice is our favorite. This is a five pound bag. Really good deal at Aldi. I picked up some chicken breast. This is going to be for three dinners. I will link the recipes I'm going to be making in the description box. I'm just going to find three tried and true easy chicken recipes. And I butterfly each piece, so we'll get four pieces from every two pieces. So this will be three meals. Then I got two pounds of hamburger, um, ground beef. So we'll do one with pasta and one with hamburgers. So this will be two meals. Then I picked up this as a little splurge for Valentine's Day. Um, we love shrimp cocktails, so we'll be having that for Valentine's Day. Then what else? Oh, next is for the football game tomorrow. I'm going to be making jalapeno poppers. Dang, these are way more expensive. I remember when these were like 49 cents or less than a dollar. This was like $2. So these definitely went up. I got two limes because I'm going to make guacamole. I got four avocados. They look great. I got some onion soup mix to make some onion dip. And I saw these. I've never picked these up before, but they are already ready hard-boiled eggs. I just thought it would be easy to do some deviled eggs with this. And then for our main item, we're going to have these meatballs. These are so good. I just put them in the air fryer. So, so good. Um, usually we have them on pasta, but we are going to make little meatball sliders 
on Hawaiian rolls. These are the Aldi Hawaiian rolls, very good. So that is going to be our main item. And with that, I got some marinara sauce to go with that. And an extra meat sauce. This is actually for our spaghetti meal with our burgers. So that is everything for 170, was it 177, I think, dollars at Aldi. I will have all of the meals linked below so you can find the recipes super easily. And let me know if you're enjoying these videos. Leave a comment below on who you want to win the football game tomorrow so I know you made it to the end. And I will see you in two weeks, hopefully, um, and get back on these weekly grocery hauls. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the messages I've gotten that have been checking in. I really appreciate it, and I'm excited to start sharing again on YouTube and helping you save money while you feed your family. So thanks for watching. Bye.